Today I will briefly answer questions like how much do I train, what type of training I do and how do I recover efficiently. When I return after a strenuous expedition from the Himalayas, I need to build general strength and endurance. This period is called recovery and takes around four weeks with four to eight hours strict functional training and jogging per week. The next and longest period is base. This is where I build endurance for future long climbs and empower endurance for technical climbing. Normal weeks are around 12 to 25 hours of training depending on my overall ability to recover and other fa factors such as work. I do put in many hours of uphill running during the base period and the average heart rate is seldom higher than 145 BPM. The last period is specific. This is training that imitates the action I will meet on a mountain. This includes mixed climbing, ice climbing, rock climbing, where I work on technique with 5 to 35 hours per week. Without proper sleep, quality food and recovery exercises such as foam roller, massage, ice bath and stretching such as yoga, then I will eventually break. So when people ask me how much I train, I often reply, what do you do when you do not train? Too much stress during the hours when I do not train will ruin what I have built up. So I think long term. If I want to be great tomorrow, I better start a training systematically several years ago. So now let's get on with it.